this is me and I am back with Primrose because in my last vlog on Sunday loads of you guys requested for me to finish Primrose off on camera. If you didn't see my last video I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out so this makes a bit more sense why I'm painting a model horse but long story short I'm doing it for World Horse Welfare for their sculpture trail and there is also a competition that you guys can enter which I'll no leave another link in the description below to that because I've actually asked Ask World Horse Welfare to extend the date so the closing date for the competition is the 28th of March it doesn't say that on the website so don't worry you still have time to enter if you want to but anyway let's get painting it was a bit of a surprise for me because I didn't know that my last video where I painted Primrose was gonna be so popular and because so many of you guys asked me to finish off painting her now I thought I would do it so I need to get some pink but what the plan is to do is get lighter pink and put that sort of on the flowers to give them a little bit more detail so I'm gonna need a lot of white so time to put it on my little plate I've actually still got a dirty plate here from before so it's still got the same color so hopefully I can try and color match to what I did last time or so I can see what it all looks together on my little color wheel so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of red in because I want the pink to be a lighter pink rather than a darker pink because also I want this pink to go on her nose as well and I think like a lighter pink would look nicer. So I'm just going to move that red out of the way and mix it up together like shamalama lama ding 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 dong. Okay, that is looking good. It is a nice pink. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, let's do her nose first. Her little muzzle. I don't want to make it go up too high, so I'm going to go slow and steady on this. Don't rush it, Esme. Ooh. There we go. Do her little nostrils. Do her little mouth. Mm. Looks like she's been eating strawberry mm. ice cream. I don't know how big to do it because I'll probably need to get some more yellow just to sort of neaten up the edges later. But it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm going to turn it around just so I can see a little bit better. Oh, don't get the hair in the paint. Hold my hair back. <laughs> do under your little chinny chin chin. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna wait on her face for now, let her nose dry. Now it's on to the intense part because I need to try and do the little detailing on the flowers that I've got here. So the plan is to do yellow centers of the flower, but just add a bit of de detailing. So I'm gonna do a big flower first. So then I get a little bit used to it. Oh, that looks quite cool. Just do a little. It looks kind of like she has more petals. I don't know if it'll look kind of like. I don't know if I should add like a teeny bit more white in. Just so, where is it? Just so then it is more sort of contrasting, I think. So it's not too, oh, it's just pink blobs. Mix, mix, mix. It's like those Instagram satisfying videos where they mix paint together. Okay, I'm going in again. I don't want to make it too thick. I might go for the end of the paintbrush technique, just for the really little ones. This is really tricky. <laughs> oh no, I 
have blobbed it in the wrong place. Okay, maybe I'll use the proper end of the paintbrush. Oh yeah, that's a little bit easier in places. Big ones are so much easier. Should have done more big ones. <laughs> oh well. It's definitely starting to look a lot more like blossomy when before it looked a little bit like, I don't know, she had loads of like starfishes on her or something. <laughs> Or like plasters. Ooh, last one on the back. That's actually looking a lot better than I thought it was going to be looking. They're kind of looking like flowers now. When they have like a yellow centre, I think they're defi definitely going to look a lot more like flowers. So, time to spin her around. This is the bit where I usually get paint everywhere, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> Remember her nose is wet? Okay, I am going, how am I gonna position her? It's this side that I find a lot more difficult, so if I do her butt first, because that's further away, let's go. I'm gonna go for the big one first. I oh, know, I always think that the flowers on um, her butt look a little bit like a My Little Pony. Because a lot of people were like, why is the mane green or why are you paint, like, painting flowers on her? Isn't it supposed to look like a real horse? But actually for the sculpture competition, it's supposed to be as wacky and out there. So I think this is pretty wacky. It doesn't really look that much like a normal horse. Because it's supposed to be sort of cool and creative designs rather than just like a brown horse. So, I, because I don't know if any of you guys, what sort of think toys you played with when you were younger or that some of you guys played with because I know I've got some younger fans out there. But um, I used to have so many My Little Ponies. Like I was never into Barbie or any of that kind of stuff. I just had My Little Ponies and then like Brayers and that kind of thing. So she's kind of like, ish. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of one of them. But yeah, look at all those flowers. They're not looking too bad now. They've got all the the sort of more detailing on and shading. Okay, let's go on to the ones on her neck and body. I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. Like at first I was a bit like, ah. Oh. But I think the sort of messy, sort of pop arty kind of look to it kind of goes with what I'm going for. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Oh. I've just realised I've got paint on me. I've got paint on my shoulder. And I've got paint on her neck. Okay. It's that no. Oh, it's coming off. Don't worry, guys. It's all good. She's not stained. But I am. <laughs> it's because that nose, I keep forgetting it's wet, so I've been leaning on it. I think it's got my hairs on as well. Or is that Mickey hair? I think it's a Mickey hair that she's got on her there. Okay. Only a few more little pink flowers to go. There we go, it's definitely starting to look a lot more like blossom now rather than just some pink sort of patches. So I think the next thing I'm gonna go 
in with is yellow for the dots but while she's drying there's like a little pink bit here so I think I'm gonna try and match this yellow give her a bit of a clean up because on her legs there's like some green bits that shouldn't be there from last time and then I can also on her nose as you can see there's like a little white bit there so hopefully I can sort of neaten the edges on her nose and then I'm gonna do her eyes so I need to try and I'm gonna pop her to the side so I don't get any more paint on me and I'm going to grab the yellow and the white move this paintbrush out of the way because I do not want any contamination actually I can do some brush cleaning now because I'm not gonna need that pink anymore oh it looks like strawberry milkshake there we go, got my clean brushes so I can use that for the yellow or whatever colour. I think, I don't know if I should do her eyes blue, so then it's like the real life um, primrose. Or if I should do them green to match her mane and her hooves. But I think I'm going to go for blue just so they sort of stand out. So I'm going to try and remake the yellow I did last time. This is going to be quite difficult. But you just gotta go for it and see. If not, I'll try and make it lighter rather than darker so at least it doesn't stand out as much. So I'm going in with a teeny bit of this yellow. And I think it was mainly the ochre that I used because it's more of like a brown yellow when the other one's a little bit more like luminous. Ooh, I'm feeling it. This is like the tense part now. Will I get it the exact same colour as last time? Probably not, but it'll be close enough. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. I think that needs a little bit more of this yellow because at the moment it's a bit too browny. Oh gosh, that was more than I expected to come out. I'm gonna get the big brush and scoop it off. Try and save the day. And then <laughs> scoop that darker stuff away. Okay, we need a little, a little bit of the white again. I think we made it a bit too dark. I need like a Dulux colour chart. Oh, that is pretty close. That's not too bad. I think it just needs a teeny bit more of this yellow. And the moment it's a teeny bit brown. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. Might just need a teeny bit of white. Teeny bit of yellow. It's like the ultimate match here. It needs to match the exact same colour yellow. Okay, I... Oh gosh, that wasn't a very healthy noise. I think that is close enough. I do a little bit of mixing. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I need to do it very close to the line. Oh wait, I got it in some like dirty yellow. Oh, panic, 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 panic. Okay, it's all good. I do. If not, I can just do like a little ombre look. Again, like we did with her legs. Move around. Oh no, pink, you better not mix with the yellow. Okay, it's not too bad, it's not too bad.
do under her chinny chin chin. Okay, I'm gonna try and move her by her belly because that's like the only place I know where she's dry. Just do the last bit here. Oh my gosh, she's got some spider webs on her. <laughs> Could paint her ears on the inside because she's got a little bit of a green got a bit of a green ear going on here gal I don't think we want that <laughs> a bit of a clean up <gasps> don't get in the main don't get in the forelock even I've, I've got an itchy nose now and I've got paint everywhere I don't want to get paint on my face <laughs> Okay. Not looking too bad now, gal. Not looking too bad. Okay. I think the next thing. Oh, my hair's gone in the paint. Oh, hopefully it'll wash out. It sort of blends in anyway with it being yellow paint. Oh, oh well, give it a wash later, it should come out, it'll be fine. Okay, so the next thing, th okay. So the next thing I think I'm gonna do is get a darker green and put like, I'd say like highlights, but I think they're gonna look more like low lights because it's a darker green. So do some like little stripes, just to give a little bit of texture to her hair or her mane. So I need the green. Oh, that is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. If I mix it with this brush anyway, because that's got a bit of yellow on. I feel like that's going to be a bit too dark. I'm going to have to get some... Actually, if... No, I, just in case I need that yellow later. I'm going to get a bit of yellow. Just to make it a bit lighter and a bit of white. I just want it to be more of like a leafy green because I can sort of see what it's going to look like compared to the green I did last time because it's still on the dirty plate. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's too bad. I think it needs because that's that's quite a vibe. That's quite a vibrant green. I think. Gotta trust me on this one, guys. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown just the teeniest tiniest bit just to give it that sort of earthy tone so let's see oh it looks like mint chocolate chip i think that needs a little bit more yellow I'm going to use the oak yellow rather than the yellow yellow <laughs> just because this is a bit more browny. And if I mix it together, oh yeah that's definitely looking more like a planty green rather than like an artificial green. So I need to get, oh this is the tiny brush, this brush still seems too big. Okay I'm going to get a little bit of paint off. Okay, now it's time to do the detailing on the mane. So if I turn her around, I need to keep reminding myself, don't lean on her because I'm gonna get more paint on my jumper, which is not good. There we go. Oh, and we can't forget her tail. I think I'm going to do sort of like an ombre again, but make it so it's darker at the bottom. Okay. 
It is quite subtle, but I kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to have to turn around and do them between our legs now. Don't get any on the eye bits. Ooh, okay, this is really pressurising. Okay, I'm going to lift up her legs like this. She's not looking too bad now. So while she is drying, I'm gonna go back, back in again with the yellow and just clean up some of the bits that need cleaning up because she's got a little bit of a brown mark here on her back. So I'm just gonna clean that up. I think it needs like a tiny bit more of this yellow. Like a weeny, tiny weeny bit. There, she's got a pink spot. Time to clean it up. Ta -da. That doesn't actually look too bad, that different colour paint. A little bit there, just touch that up. It's not looking too bad now, guys. Okay, there's just a little bit. Tiny bit on the inside of her leg here. Looking good. Okay, I think it's time to do the eyes. Now, this bit I want to get right because it's her face and um that's what people are probably going to be looking at a lot, so... Oh, that is one dark blue. This is very dark. This is almost like a navy blue. So we're going to need a lot of white to mix with this. I'm going to do some brush cleaning as well. got my water. I've got a lot of paint in my hands now. And I'm probably gonna get this everywhere. Okay, rub the paint together to try and make it dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, time for the. <laughs> I've been putting it off too long now, guys. It's time to do the eyes. I want to get this right. I'm just gonna do like the tiniest. Spin her around. Eye number two. Okay guys, so I've done quite a lot of the detailing and things on her, I've cleaned her up a bit. The last thing I need to do is do little yellow dots in the center of each of the flowers. However, because it's still currently wet, I'm gonna come back and do it when she's dry. So I'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Okay guys, I'm now back and Primrose is a bit drier now. So I'm going to do the little yellow dots in the center of the flowers. So I've got my yellow, let's get mixing. I just pop a bit down on the plate. And I'm gonna put a teeny bit of the ochre or the sort of darker yellow, just to mix it together. Because you want it to sort of stand out and I don't want it to be like the same colour yellow as her. I want it to be a little bit darker. I think I could add a teeny bit of this yellow. 
There we go. Just make it a bit less brownie. I think that's good. Okay, so what I think I might do is use the end of the brush again, just because I'm doing little dots. So, first dot. I don't know if that yellow is a bit too browny. I'm gonna get the other yellow. Okay, let's go for it. I'll go over the top of that one. I just don't want to get too. There we go, that's looking better. There we go, it's starting to look like little flowers now. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Have I missed any? Nope, all good. Okay, this side is done. Time to scoot her around. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, time for the other side. Okay, I think she is almost done. I have done all the spots on her to go on the flowers. So they're sort of looking more like flowers now, which is looking pretty cool. However, I think there's one last thing I just need to add to her. I'll be back in a sec. In my last episode when I was painting Primrose, some of you picked up on when I was doing her legs with the sponge and I went dab, dab, dab to make your legs fab. Um, some of you guys recognize the Simply Neological sort of quote. So I thought for some finishing touches, I've actually got some holographic nail polish here and I thought I'd put it on her hooves to make them all sparkly, so. Let's go. It's quite an old nail polish, so I hope it still has some left in it. Because I don't get to paint my nails very often because usually they just get ruined by horses. So I usually only paint my nails for like special occasions. But look at her hooves. Look how pretty they are. Oh my god, yes girl. She's got some twinkle toes going on. I think I might need to give this a bit of a shake because it's a bit dry. <laughs> oh, she's gonna look so pretty. It's kind of like horse hoof oil, but sparkly. There we go. Okay. We have one more to go. Oh my gosh, she's looking so cool. Ta-da! She's actually looking a lot better than I expected. I think it's because my expectations were quite low for myself for painting her, but she has turned out 
actually looking quite cool. Obviously the flowers don't look like realistic flowers. They're supposed to be kind of pop arty and kind of out there. So yeah, I quite like the green mane and tail as well because it's kind of like grass. But then it kind of looks like the real horse primrose because she's got the pink nose, the blue eyes and the sort of cream colored coat. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video as it was really requested for you guys to watch me finish her off and do the little finishing touches. If any of you guys would still like to enter the sculpture competition, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. And also you still have time to enter if you're watching this on the Sunday that today's video goes out on because the closing date is the 28th of March, 2019. And it's for World Horse Welfare, which is such a brilliant charity that help a lot of horses. And I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and like, primrose or my sort of design because it is a little bit different it's not supposed to look like real flowers it's sort of supposed to be sort of pop party and I think it kind of looks a little bit like the real primrose with her pink nose and blue eyes and cream colored coat but anyway I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all next time bye